Understanding the phrase, in someone's shoes. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into a fascinating and widely used English idiom, in someone's shoes. This phrase is not only common in everyday conversations but also rich in meaning. So, let's explore what it means, how to use it, and see some examples in action. Stay with us to step into the world of English idioms. In someone's shoes is an idiom that means imagining oneself in the situation or circumstances of another person. It's often used to express understanding, empathy, or to consider a different perspective. This phrase is all about putting yourself in someone else's position to understand their feelings, challenges, or decisions. The exact origin of in someone's shoes is a bit unclear, but it's believed to have roots in ancient cultures where shoes were seen as symbolic of the wearer's experiences or status. The idea is that by wearing someone else's shoes, one could metaphorically experience their life. This idiom reflects a universal concept, empathy and understanding. Let's look at how to use this phrase in real-life scenarios. 1. Empathy. If you were in her shoes, how would you feel about the sudden changes? 2. Advice. Before you judge his actions, try walking in his shoes for a day. 3. Reflection. Being in his shoes for just one day made me realize the challenges he faces. These examples show how versatile and impactful the phrase can be in different contexts. There are a few variations of this idiom. Put oneself in someone else's shoes. Walk a mile in someone's shoes. Step into someone's shoes. Each variation emphasizes the same core concept of empathy and understanding but with a slightly different twist. I hope this video has helped you understand and appreciate the depth of the phrase, in someone's shoes. Remember, language is not just about words. It's about the ideas and emotions they convey. Next time you hear or use this idiom, think about the powerful message of empathy it carries. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next English language adventure.